the shepherds went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in a manger. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. This Mass is being offered for all your intentions. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who are pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, Graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity. And so, in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. God sets a father in honor over his children, a mother's authority he confirms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reveres his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children, and when he prays, is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life, he who obeys his father, bring comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even in, if his mind fail, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten. Firmly planted against the debt of your sins. A house raised in justice to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May he see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against you, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you so also do. And over all these put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. 
and let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the, th the peace into which you were also called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another. Sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of our Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Wives, be subordinate to your husbands, as is proper in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives, and avoid any bitterness towards them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this is pleasing to the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children, so they may not become discouraged. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Let the peace of Christ control your hearts. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, they took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opened the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons, in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, may you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepare in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself, a sword will pierce so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshiped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the, of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good day, my friends, and I pray that you had a wonderful Christmas, uh, even in this time of craziness. However you celebrate it, I pray that you had a wonderful Christmas. Today we celebrate right on the, the heels of the Christmas celebration. We're celebrating the feast or the solemnity of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, and this beautiful family that gives so much um, inspiration for our own families and how to live. Uh, this this particular uh, solemnity always means a lot to me because uh, my family is very dear to me. I mean, I know many can say that, uh, but it always, you know, this is a, a special day for me to celebrate uh, because, again, family means so much. I mean, it, family gives us countless memories, and uh, I always thank God for my mother and father and, and my sister, and now my, my niece, um, because 
what I always observed in my parents were the sacrifices that they gave for my sister and I, and those beautiful sacrifices that gave us so much. Uh, I mean, I just have so many countless memories of climbing the rocks at, at the art museum and going on uh, excursions with my mother. We would go on long walks and my father would take me fishing at the lakes. Uh, just so many wonderful memories of childhood and everything. And I always feel bad for people that don't have that because it really is, it puts you at a deficit when you don't have, you know, that strong family uh, behind you. You know, the reason I became a priest, yes, I had wonderful uh, men and mentors in the priesthood that guided me and gave me a beautiful example. But at its heart, the reason I became a priest was the influence of my own father in, in, in the house and the example that he set in the faith life and in, in, in a life of sacrifice. And so this day is, uh, again, something very special to me. And I always remember right before I was going for surgery, it's been five years, uh, I haven't had sh uh, shoulder surgery, but it was at the time that the Holy Father had visited for the World Meeting of Families in Philadelphia. And I was not able to attend anything because I was watching over the, the parish in which I was assigned to at the time. And I was watching on TV, uh, the, it was not the mass, it was that celebration they had, it was a concert on the parkway. And the Holy Father got up and he spoke off the cuff. And I remember a priest friend texting me saying, okay, here we go, he's going off. Because you could tell he was going off of the prepared speech and the prepared text that he had. But I remember what he said was so beautiful in talking about the family, because it really shows that we each have a role in the family, and, <coughs> excuse me, in the family unit. And he got up and he said, we must remember that children are the hope of the family. The parents are the strength of the family and the grandparents are the living memory of the family and that is again that so encompasses it's so beautiful in saying that because I see with my own niece the great hope that is there you know and in with my sister and my parents the strength that they have you know but they are also for his, the, for their granddaughter Zara they are the memory and I always remember my own grand grandparents and listening to everything that they were saying and what they were handing down to me, you know, really gave me a better sense of who I was as a person, <coughs> excuse me, and coming into, you know, to be a part of this family. And so what we also see, <coughs> excuse me, in the Holy Family is their fine example that they set. And it comes down to one key thing. They are all, all of them, obedient to God. Mary said yes to God. Joseph picks up his wife who's pregnant, takes her, you know, to Bethlehem and then takes her to Egypt. He's always obedient to what God is asking. Those are no easy tasks. And of course, our Lord obedient and everything to his father. Their obedience to God is what really shows them to be a true family. And that is what is also the, the strong lesson for us. You want to strengthen that love that we have within our own families? Let us first and foremost be obedient to what God is asking of us. God bless you. <coughs> Please stand for the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. We receive the life of faith through the church, for she is the mother of our new birth in grace. As joyful members of God's family, we now pray. For the church, that her members will be strengthened, purified, and renewed through the grace of Christ's body and blood, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those charged with protecting society, that they will build a world in which family life is revered, protected, and promoted, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the universal respect for all human persons, that the culture of life will transform every human heart, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For blessings on all families, that the love, the unity, and the self-donation of the Holy Family will overflow into all aspects of family life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families who suffer from financial hardship, that they may find in the birth of Jesus a sign of certain hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For family members who are alienated or estranged, that the unfailing <coughs> power of mercy of Jesus will reunite and reconcile loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, bless us with your love, which we profess to be the bond of perfection. Let the peace of Christ console the hearts we offer you with thankful prayer. We ask this as we ask all things through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that, through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and St. Joseph, you may establish our families firmly, in your grace and your peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this all-filled mystery, through the in invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours, and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation, and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so, with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 
Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
our God has appeared on the earth and lived among us. At this time, we now offer our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. And just again, I hope you had a blessed Christmas, and please forgive all the coughing. I'm not COVID, I'm not anything like that. Just to give you a, a kind of a background, we're doing a lot of rewiring for the phone system in the rectory, and it's just been dust and dust and dust and drills and, and sawing. <laughs> it's just been a mess here, and so there's all kind of dust in the air. I apologize, so please, you know, don't be concerned. It's starting to settle down. They just finished uh, a few hours ago, but it's just been this constant kick up of dust. That's why I sound like I'm choking to death at times. Um, and also, I wanted to say, I know many of you reached out to me through the comments section, and I couldn't figure out what happened, why they were turned off. And here, what happened is with YouTube's new uh, way of uploading a video, it asks you if it's appropriate for children, and I always put yes, that it is appropriate video for children. And when you do that, it turns off the comments section. That way, none of the kids would, you know, see anything untoward. You know, that's the idea. Uh, but unfortunately, I try to uh, release the, the comments so you can actually write comments again, but um, it, it won't do it. So. Uh, but it's because of how the video is up, uplifted now, uploaded now. And I will put my email address there in the notes section. And if you have any petitions, anybody you want prayed for, anything you need, you can reach out to me through that email. And I will definitely get to you uh, as quickly as possible. Again, have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas season. And let's all pray that 2001... Uh, is 2021, excuse me, is much better than 2020. God bless you all.